Hello. I think that we're live. Um, I didn't start with, uh, typically I start with like a, one of these things. And the reason I do that is because I don't know when the live stream actually starts. So anyway, this is just a test to make sure that the microphone is set up nicely. Um, and that, uh, yeah, that the uh, camera, uh, every, all the lights and everything look nice. Um, got the snowboard up a little bit higher than I wanted because I didn't use a level and so that's too bad. Um, I just realized, you know what, I can, I'm looking at my own screen or face um, in the screen uh, or on my camera and I realized I can just put this here and now I look like I'm looking at the camera and I'm actually also looking at uh, the video so I can see myself. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, the camera's like right there and my eyes are just like just a tiny bit over. If I move this though, what? Now I'm looking right into my eyes. Oh man, the window's not gonna let me do that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I think there's an echo. I can actually even hear the echo in the room. Um, I've got acoustic uh, panels all over. I have uh, a ton more. This is 50 panels. They vacuum, vacuum shut it or whatever. So I think it's 50, maybe it's 80. I'm pretty sure I got 50. I looked at the 80 and I'm like, ah, I don't think I need 80. So I'm pretty sure this is 50. And uh, yeah, so I've got some more places for that. I have this little nook right here that is kind of a problem. And so I'm gonna be putting a whole bunch of panels up there. Um, and actually on the doors of my closet and my entry, I'm getting custom sized panels so that um, I can have it exactly, uh, or yeah, they're custom size and actually custom image too. So I actually have like pictures um, on my doors. I, that might not look all that great actually, maybe I'd just be better off doing regular panels. But yeah, like my doors have like these insets, boom, boom on each one. And so I'm gonna have six panels that'll go on those to um, help with that. And then I have panels on the ceiling, but maybe I'll put some more up there. Um, so. Yeah, I would love to hear though what folks think about uh, the the echo in here. I'm gonna listen to it myself um, and everything. Oh, also, I wanted to get some feedback on the one wheel right here and the lighting situation. So let me pull up this light. Um, do do do. We're in our office. We're looking at the corner accent. And we're gonna go uh, full color, hold on. Yeah, full color, turn off warm dim. We're gonna, oh, whoops, that, no. My uh, shade started coming up for some unknown reason uh, when I switched off warm dim. I uh, will figure that out. Um, yeah, actually I kind of like, I like that. So. Let me know what you think. I can change to all the different kinds of colors. We could do all sorts of crazy things. We got red and we've got yellow and green and blue. Um, I think like matching the purple would be good or maybe matching the blue on the other side of my head could be interesting. And of course I can also uh, increase and decrease vibrancy. I don't think I can observe any difference when I do that. So this is no vibrancy. This is all the vibrancy. I basically can't tell anything. And then of course I can change the, how bright it is. I think it was pretty good at 50%. So, um, and that's off. And now it's on uh, at a hundred percent. There we go, 50. I kind of like the blue it actually changes the color of the one wheel because it is it is a purple. Um, so to match that purple would probably be a little closer to something like this maybe. Yeah, anyway, feedback on that light color is welcome. Kind of like the blue. It actually does change the color of the one wheel makes it look blue. That's interesting. Um, and fun fact, I could also do, um, oh no, my lights are off, but if I do this, we can turn it on. And then, um, let's see, we can go full color. Oh, whoop, it's on warm dim. Turn that off. Screens might come up, I don't know. 
Um, and then I can make my face a different color. What? <laughs> uh, blue. Yeah, so I've got another, I've got two lights right up here that I could completely control my face, um, which I think is kind of interesting. And then I've got this hair light right here uh, that is giving me this beautiful effect. I'm really, really happy with that. I think that looks awesome. Um, so yeah, the kids just got home. So tell me if you can hear them. I think we're probably just going to turn this off. Um, but uh, yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of like that blue. Let me turn it off again, uh, or just change it back to a warm dim. And there's that alternative. So um, anyway. Just hit me up in the comments uh, what you think about the office setup and the way things look and if uh, you have any ideas of how to improve things. I am going to be doing a lot more sound treatment, so if you hear an echo in the audio, then um, I will hopefully be fixing that soon. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I should come up with a, a sign out thing that like um, kind of like Theo does. He says, peace, nerds. Except I should do something. Oh, I just noticed we've got the chat going on over here. When I had it in this window, it uh, um, wasn't wide enough to show the chat. Okay, we've got chat. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Nothing noticeable on vibrancy. Thanks, Eric. Epic web sign is blurry. That's intentional. Um, thank you for mentioning that. Um, looks good. The, uh, I like the blue color on the one wheel. Sweet. I do too, Rob. It's good to see you. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm going to send this off to uh, folks. I think actually the volume is a little bit low on my microphone. Um, so I'm going to just increase. Actually, you know what? They sent me instructions on increasing the gain from the source. Uh, let me just see. Uh, we're, hold on a second. One thing you do not see, which is very cool, is I now have a streaming sign on the outside of my office. So when I'm in streaming mode, the sign lights up and the kids know that I'm streaming. So they just got home from school and they came over and they're like, are you streaming? Yes, I am streaming. And they're excited about that because they think it's cool and I think it's cool too. Okay, I'm just gonna reach over. Um, yeah, just gonna fix this really quick. Hmm. I do not see what you, oh, hold on, maybe it's, oh, there it is. Let's find me something else. Okay, so he showed me, there's this like little input thing, it's all the way on the left side, I think. Oh no, that's main inputs, okay. Okay, so he's on that input one, and that's where my input is going. So just increase this a touch. We'll go to five. It was at like four before. I think maybe just a tiny bit. Maybe six. Okay, so let's... Uh, ah! My desk is also epic, by the way. Um, I've got tape on me. Okay, so that is much louder. I want to... I'm going to bring down that gain. Hold on. No, we want to have... Gain on the computer at zero. I think that is a little bit, yeah, very loud. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now it's at, it's just under five. How is that? Is that much better? Um, door works like a charm, no noise when closed. Does that mean, Eric, that you could hear noise when the door was open? It is an exterior door. It is heavy duty, hardcore. I've got a threshold and everything, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Everything is looking, sounding good. Volume is good. I'm going to check out Audacity really quick and um, make sure that the recording device, here we go, and we're going to record this. Yeah, those waveforms look, they're still really low, but typically I think you want your gain to be low anyway. So I'm going to let's listen to this. We're going to record this. Yeah, those waveforms look, they're still really low. Okay, cool. Oh, another thing.
well, no, just kidding. I was just going to ask if um, if my output was mono, but I'm looking at it right now, and it's it's uh, it is stereo. It's just like the channels are the same, which is great because my old setup uh, required uh, a bit more. So uh, Kirill is saying five is better. He goes at four. So now it's at five. So it's, uh, tell me if this is too loud. Uh, typically, I'm not, like sometimes when I'm streaming, I'm kind of mumbling and it'll be kind of like this. And then sometimes when I'm really excited, it'll be like this. So yeah, there we go. Um, I wanted to also pull up ScreenFlow and make sure that those levels are good on ScreenFlow too. So I'll just record, I'm recording uh, on here. I'm not gonna show my screen to you because you don't need to see it. Um, uh, let me just see here. Yeah, so that one. I'll show you my side angle here in a second too. Okay, and then if I normalize levels here, smooth volume levels in screen flow. Oh. Here, I'm not going to show my screen to you because you don't need to see it. Yeah. Sweet. I actually sound. Uh, think it sounds pretty good. Uh, I do a little bit more sound treatment, and that echo will be totally gone. Um, and I think, yeah, I think we're good. Okay, thanks everybody for uh, joining for this little test. Uh, I, I look like a mess. I, I, I worked out this morning, first time in my life, by the way. I've, I've, like, not the first time in my life, I've worked out before, but like, I have a gym now so I can actually work out uh, reasonably. And uh, so anyway, I'm just like all sweaty and stuff. I was like, oh, I'll take a shower after I do this quick thing in my office. Yeah, of course that didn't work. Um, I put up a bunch of stuff, hung the snowboard um, and, yeah, so many things to do. So uh, Chris City is saying, I look beautiful, which makes me feel good. Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, great. I think that is everything that I wanted to test. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody for um, giving me feedback and everything. And um, I still have some more things I need to automate, like these lights and the sign, these lights and the sign. Uh, and the lava lamp back here, they don't turn on auto automatically. When I switch on streaming mode, I still gotta do those manually. So I'm gonna get, I, I've got like these little um, things that I'll put into the plug that'll work with the whole system and, and turn on automatically, which would be nice. The These lights uh, turn on automatically, which is pretty cool. Oh, I told you I was gonna show you my angle. Woo, this is the angle, hello. Um, so yeah, when I'm working, I can maybe do, I don't know when I'll, when, when I'll use this angle. It just kind of felt cool, like, hey, I have a window, and and on top of that, I can do this. So we bring these up, and then I make a slight adjustment to this to compensate for uh, the light that will now be in the room. That's a little bit dark, I think, but here, let's just do this one really quick while we're waiting. Okay, something like that. Yeah, wow, doesn't that look, that's my neighbor's house. <laughs> it's a pretty big house, geez. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe they wouldn't appreciate me showing off their house. Um, but uh, yeah, I actually kind of like this. We, we've got a lot of flat light coming in um, from out there, but um, it's lighter. And I like being able to see the outdoors. The problem is um, if there are, if it's not, we just have overcast clouds. So there's no change in light from the outside. But if we did have a bunch of change in light, then I'd be like adjusting lighting levels and everything uh, throughout the whole day. So uh, anyway, yeah, that's my angle. Um, let me adjust it even more. Bring it down a bit, just a bit more. Pretty good. It's a little, a little dark. Yeah. Probably need to like write down the numbers. Um, yeah, maybe this one's a little bit on the light side also. There we go. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so thrilled. I just need to put up the acoustic panels. And then I've got like 6,000 things to do in the new house. And then, um, then I can actually start really, really producing stuff. My daughter is practicing the flute. Can you hear that? She's not playing right now. She was playing. I wanna like check to see how noisy my kids can be without causing disruption. They're talking. I don't know if you can hear that. I can.
Can you hear that? The kids, there. No, nobody's practicing uh, the flute anymore. There it was. Do you hear the flute? I think you can hear the flute. I'm pretty sure you can hear the flute. And then the piano room is like just right down there. Um, so it's it's not directly below me. The homework room is directly in the craft room and stuff. That's directly below me. But uh, yeah, the piano room is over there. So hopefully, and then we did a room within a room sort of thing. So we're, like we are, we've got separated floors and, and the um, there's uh, like a little, what are they, railing sort of thing that the drywall is connected to. So yeah. Yeah, you can hear the flute, you can barely tell. That's fine uh, for my live streams, but when I'm recording videos, I'll probably just have to record it at a time the kids aren't home or something. So anyway, thank you all.